How to Divide Square Roots. This free video tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash square root, where you'll find many resources involving working with square roots and radicals, including um, a square root calculator that will express a square root in simplest radical form, several free worksheets with answer keys. All right, the goal of this tutorial is to be able to solve problems like the two that you see on the screen. A square root of 24 over the square root of 3, or something like 15 times the square root of 24 over 3 times the square root of 8. So we'll, we'll work on problems like the one on the left at the beginning of the tutorial, and we'll wrap up with some of these more complicated ones. But before we attempt to do any of these problems, I just want to make sure that we um, are familiar with um, a rule that we're going to be applying a lot today. And let's look at this here. The square root of 64 over the square root of 16. The rule that I was referring to is the fact that you can rewrite any square, any um, division of square roots like this as follows. If you wanted to, you could house them under one radical sign. And and then your life gets much simpler. Um, the square root of 64 over the square root of 16 can be rewritten as a square root of 64 over 16. And then it's easy. It's just what's 64 divided by 16, which is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, I chose these numbers on purpose because I wanted to show you that you, if you, if you just simplified first, you could rewrite the square root of 64 as 8. The square root of 16 is 4 and you would get the same answer. However, it will be easier to do most problems the first way, and that's how I'm going to do the lesson. I just wanted you to see using real numbers that you can do it either way. Um, you can simplify the top and the bottom separately and then divide, or you can do what we are going to do today, which is rewrite the quotient under one radical sign divide these, simplify these, to get something like the square root of 4, and then simplify the final radical. So all that I wanted to point out to you is that you can combine these into one square root. All right, so now let's apply that rule to something like the square root of 24 or the square root of 3. Remember, you can rewrite this as square root of 24 over 3. Step 1 would be in general to do that and step 2 is going to be now actually divide and simplify this. This becomes the square root of 8 and now we want to simplify the square root of 8 to become the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 which is just 2 root 2. If you, you don't know, how, if you are confused about how I went from the square root of 8 to the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, then you should really step back and look at one of our first video tutorials on simplifying square roots. I'm just going to assume today that, and take for granted that you know how to go from the square root of 8 to the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. All right, so a quick recap of the steps. R rewrite the quotient as one radical that houses a quotient, divide, and then simplify. As you can see, if we didn't um, do this, if we did, if we tried to simplify the top and the bottom, it wouldn't work out as well. Like you could try to simplify the square root of 24 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 over the square root of 3, and you would get, I just want to show you, you, you can do it this other way. Uh, you would get 2 times the square root of 6 over the square root of 3. And then you can rewrite it as 2 times the square root of 6 over 3, or 2 root 2. Again, I'm not going to recommend this way to me. It, it often involves other steps and bigger numbers. Um, you can see you get the same answer either way. You can simplify, then combine or you can combine into one radical, then simplify, which the, the latter will be the way we will do today. It generally makes things easier. Um, let's try another problem. Let's 
divide the square root of 54 by the square root of 2. Remember, our approach will be to combine under one radical sign from the start, then to simplify here. Right, 54 divided by 2 is 27. And now simplify. The square root of 27 is the square root of 9 times the square root of 3, or 3 root 3. Okay, pretty simple. Put under one square root, simplify that division, that quotient, and then simplify the radical expression. And let's try <coughs> one more. The square root of 120 divided by the square root of 3. Combine, divide, simplify, right? Square root of 4 times square root of 10, and this becomes 2 radical 10, 2 square root of 10. Okay, so that's it for doing these ones that do not involve coefficients. Now let's make things a little more complicated. Let's say that instead of square root of 120 divided by square root of 3, we had to do 15 times the square root of 120 over 5 times the square root of 3. And all I did was add coefficients here. Again, the order here, you can do things in any order that you want, but I'm going to recommend, if possible, simplify if these first. If you can see, I would rewrite the numbers as 15 over 5, and we'll deal with that. And then we'll separately deal with the square root of 120 times the square root of 3. Remember, multiplication and division are commutative, and we can separate things. Like we, can do fifth, we can do this in any order we want it. Um, since it's all multiplying and dividing, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it in the following order. I'm gonna do the real numbers, the 15 and the 5. I'm gonna separate them and multiply that by this, the square root of 120 times square root of 3. Um, and you can see that 15 over 5 will be 3. And you know what we do here, right? We are gonna combine these under one square root, one radical. All right, so now let's do what we've done before, which is simplify here. Just leave the 3 out front, and then it becomes the square root of 40. And from the prior problem, you know that the square root of 40 becomes 2 radical 10. And 3 times 2 radical 10 is 6 radical 10. All right, so... I'm going to suggest again that if that you separate the rational numbers to their own parentheses, right, and deal with them individually, and likewise the radicals, and at the end do the final multiplication. So if you have three times two root ten, it becomes six root ten. Let's look at a few more problems like that. Let's try six times the square root of fifty-four over nine times the square root of two. Remember, we are going to use the commutative property to separate rational numbers, 6 over 9, and radicals, and square roots, times the square root of 54 over the square root of 2, which is going to become, you know, you can, if you want, you can simplify 6 over 9 to be 2 over 3. I like to leave things as uh, fractions. And the square root of 54 over the square root of 2 becomes the, the square root of, 54 over 2, and you know to simplify that radical, keep the 2 over 3 out front, simplify the square root of 54 over 2 to become the square root of 27, which is 2 over 3 times, if you remember the square root of 27 simplified to be root 9 times root 3, or 3 root 3. All right, now at the, ver the very last step is to apply this, right? Is to multiply a rational two th the number two thirds by three, and that's just going to become two radical three, right? Two thirds times three is two. Okay, so just sticking with our set of steps to solve a problem like this. 
Okay, let's conclude the tutorial with this problem. 3 times the square root of 120 over 4 times the square root of 3. Remember, commutative properties separate rational numbers from irrationals. You can't do anything with 3 fourths. That's simplified. Root 120 over root 3 we will put under 1 square root. Sorry, let me, um, just trying to get this to fit on the screen. Okay, square root of 120 over the square root of 3. So that becomes... There we go. That becomes 3 fourths over the square root of 40. Simplify the square root of 40. And you get 3 fourths over square root of 40 becomes the square root of 4. I'll keep the parentheses to help out here. The square root of 4 times the square root of 10, which is just 3 fourths times 2 root 10. So remember, the last step is to multiply here. 3 fourths times 2 is going to become 6 fourths, right? I'll just write this out real fast. 6 fourths, which becomes 3 halves. So the final answer is 3 halves times the square root of 10. And that's it for dividing radicals. They don't get, and when you're dealing with numbers and not variables, like all the examples we've seen, they don't get too much more complicated than this, I don't think. Um, just stick with the steps and you'll be good. <coughs> if you um, would like to see other resources, involving square roots, feel free to visit our website, mathwarehouse.com slash square root. Thank you.